Hey guys, Greenfee, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Optifine and get shaders for 1.16 Minecraft. It's really awesome and really game changer. Now be warned, before the video starts, shaders are more graphically intense, so the game might be laggy depending on your computer's performance. Trust me, I have the newest computer, and sometimes it still lags. It's pretty, it's pretty insane. But anyway, <laughs> let's get into it. Okay, so the first step is optional, and if you're having issues completing it, you can go to the second step, but I strongly advise completing this step so you don't have any problems in the future. So the first step is to go to the first link in the description and it should take you to a website like this. Now this is the official Java download website. This step helps you to be able to open Optifine because sometimes Minecraft glitches and you don't have Java. So what you're going to want to do is click download and then click agree and start free download. Now depending on your Wi-Fi and computer's performance it might take a little bit of time to download this file but it shouldn't take too long. So once the file is downloaded drag it onto your desktop. Now open it and it should verify it for a few seconds and it's open now. So just click on this thing right here. Now click open and it might have prompted you to enter in your username and password but I'm not going to show that on the video because it's kind of private information. Now click install. Now the installation should take a little bit of time but not too long. And now click close. Now you can drag this to the trash. Now go to the second link in the description and it should take you to the Optifine download website. Now most of you will have the 1.16 right here but Optifine development is taken a bit slow so just click preview versions and make sure it says Optifine 1.16 up here and right beside it click mirror. Now click download. Now it's actually taken me to a Roblox website, don't worry that's an ad. And in the bottom, it should say this type of file could harm your computer. If it says Optifine in its name, it's okay to keep. And then just drag it to your desktop like that. Now open the file and click open. And it might say something like that. Just click OK. Now this file opens for me, but I'm going to show you guys what to do if it says it can't verify it for malicious software. Go up here to the Apple logo, click System Preferences, click Security and Privacy. And it should say something here like this is malicious software. Do you want to open it? If it's Optifine, don't worry. It's totally OK to open it and click OK. Now click Install right here. Now you're going to want to go down and click the Install button right here. And it should take a few seconds. Wait a little bit. And and it's installed. Now you can you can delete this but I prefer to just keep it so I'm just gonna drag it on the desktop. Now open up Minecraft. Once your Minecraft launcher is open it should say Optifine down here but if it doesn't don't worry click installations click new and find Optifine in here. So mine is right there and you can name this whatever you want but I usually name it 1.16 Optifine just to stay organized. Now you can change this to whatever you want and click create. To find your installation just go down to the bottom and press that but I'm just going to use the Optifine one that it gave me. Now before you click play make sure you've ran 1.16 Minecraft whatever version you're trying to install at least once first and then click play. Alright so now that Minecraft is loaded up the way we're going to test that Optifine is successfully installed is go options video settings and the shaders toggle should now be here. Now I'm going to show you how to get shaders. Now when searching for Minecraft shaders you can literally just type in Minecraft shaders but I like to download my personal favorite which is Silder's Vibrant Shaders. So you click downloads and I'm just going to download the newest version. Now it might bring up something like this like AdFly. Don't worry just click the X here and if it says something up here just wait for it and click skip. Now you can download and just drag it onto your desktop again. Now the file that you downloaded should be a zip file but if it's not I'll leave a link in the description for what to do if it's not a zip file that you download. So to install this go up to here click go. Now make sure you're holding down the option button on your keyboard and the library should appear and just click library then click application support, click Minecraft, and then find your shader pack folder. Now if you don't have a shader pack folder, just create one with the correct name. Spelling does matter on this one, so just create a folder called shader packs. Then you can drag your shader right into that shader pack folder. Now load up Minecraft and click play. Again, just a warning, shaders could be more laggy. So to get to shaders, click escape, options, video settings, then shaders. Now in here are all your shaders. Now you might only have one shader because you only downloaded one shader, but I have a ton of shaders. So I'm just going to use, let's do Silder's Vibrant Shaders 0.27. Let's just do that. All right, so although Minecraft is running fairly smoothly on my computer, they might not be the exact same. 
so your computer might be a bit laggy. All right, well, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really, really hope this video helped some of you guys out and tell you how to install Optifine. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below, but please watch the video thoroughly and read the description thoroughly before doing so. If this video helped you out, consider subscribing. It would really, really help me out, and you can always unsubscribe if you change your mind later. Anyways, I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace!